I'm Rory McGill and I did my PhD about 10 years ago in Queen's University Belfast and it was around the role of fruit as a snack which was health psychology which at the time I can assure you was quite cutting edge um, but actually it was quite closely related to public health which I didn't know at the time and I've since meandered into a, a career in public health which I never would have thought I would have done and I'm currently based in Cheshire and Merseyside and I'm about to become a public health consultant. I feel like there's a lot of gatekeeping within the academic world and I feel like STEM shouldn't be this big scary thing that people think, oh, I'm not a mathematician or I'm not really good at physics. There's so many different disciplines within STEM that you can explore, such as sociology, anthropology, psychology. Fair enough, there's going to be statistical components within those, but actually, if you're someone that's quite in tune with human behavior and understands how to connect with people. I think that is more merit in the long run. And I think that if you um, understand where you sit within the research process, I think that you can bring something quite special to that if you come at it with a creative slant. And also, if we think about what a PhD is supposed to be, it's supposed to be novel and add new knowledge to the existing information base. And actually, if we keep doing things the same way in these rigid, archetypal patriarchal ways then actually we're not we're just going to keep regurgitating the same things we need to be encouraging why we need to be encouraging more novel ways to explore topics while still scientifically robust and you know the, the methods still being correct but but just give people a bit of space to put their stamp on what it is that they're exploring Coming from quite a deprived background, at the time I was born, I was entitled to a full grant, a full bursary, and I also had an older brother that could help me financially. And my PhD was fully funded. So I was really, really fortunate to be able to pursue that career. I'm very aware that times have changed and the way that fees and things are processed at the minute. I would have been priced out of the market to do a PhD at the minute, which is really, really unfortunate because there's so many really clever, capable, optimistic people that just don't have access to the resource. So I'm afraid I'm quite pessimistic in that sense. But I feel like in terms of other um, demographics, I think that we're definitely making positive strides with regard to widening participation in, in STEM and in PhD research, but we are by no means anywhere near that. And one example I, I do come to quite often is how we disseminate our research. So a lot of um, academic prowess, and, and we've seen a lot of uh, interest in the media recently, particularly with uh, universities now um, removing members of staff that don't bring money into departments. And I think that, that that national conversation reflects something that I came across in academia a very long time ago, which is around um, the, the amount of um, what's the word? The amount of clout that we attach to really prestigious publications disseminating our research. Actually, I see my role as being more one where I need to be disseminating my research in a more accessible way. If you're experiencing any conflict with your supervisor or having like a difficult relationship with your supervisor, most PhDs have a secondary supervisor that you can go to for another set of eyes on an issue or just some respite and, and understand because we have to remember that our supervisors are people too and that they will make mistakes and that you are in a position to, to quite confidently challenge if you feel like your research integrity is is being compromised but also have those friends away from academia that you can switch your brain off about the job and focus on other things that matter you you as a phd student is not the primary focus of your entire persona you have so much more in your life than that so it can seem like at the time if you've clashed with your supervisor or if something's not going well that it's the end of the world it's not just Sometimes you just need to close the laptop and go outside or speak to a friend of a coffee um, and also just try and remember that why you're there to do it. You're not there to form a relationship with your supervisor. You're there to, to produce robust novel work that contributes to the body of evidence against your topic area.